بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله حمدا كثيرا طيبا مباركا فيه كما يحب ربنا ويرضاه أما بعد In this lesson inshallah we're going to be speaking about the fifth nullifier الخامس The fifth nullifier according to the authors of the book But according to what we've taken in the corrections of Sheikh Abu Musa This is going to be the fourth nullifier Because hijama according to the correct opinion Does not nullify a person's fast Al-Khamis The fifth nullifier Khuruju dam al wal nifas The menstrual as well as the postnatal bleeding The blood coming out from a woman This nullifies her fast Famata ra'at al mar'atu dam al aw al nifas afdarat so whenever a woman sees the menstrual or postnatal bleeding, then she has broken her fast. She has broken her fast. And this is something which happens automatically. As soon as the blood comes out while she is during the day's fast, her fast is null and void. وَوَجَبَ عَلَيْهَا الْقَضَاءَ If that happens, she has to repay back that day's fast. Because it's null and void, she has to repay it back. لقوله صلى الله عليه وسلم في المرأة because of his saying صلى الله عليه وسلم يعني the prophet concerning the woman أليس إذا حاضت لم تصلي ولم تصم is it not the case that when she sees her حيض she sees her menstrual cycle she neither prays nor fasts the hadith which has come repeatedly reported by Bukhari okay so this is the fifth nullifier the fifth nullifier according to the authors but we mentioned this is the fourth nullifier this is actually the fourth nullifier according to the corrections that we made so this uh, matter khuruj al-dam al nifas this was covered previously in the in the previous section when we spoke about the exemptions which allow a person to break their fast and we mentioned there that if a woman sees her menstrual or postnatal bleeding during the day's fast then it's haram for her to continue fasting she has to break her fast her fast is null and void and it's wajib for her to repay back that day's fast طيب. and all of these things that we just mentioned that the fast is invalid that she uh, it's haram for her to continue fasting that it's wajib for her to repay it back. All of these are things which there is ijma, there's consensus, there's no difference of opinion, as uh, An Nawawi and others have mentioned. An Nawawi mentioned this in Al Majmu'. Tayyib. So now we ask the question Is it a sin for a woman to break her fast through this? Is it a sin for a woman to break her fast through this? Well, of course not. It's not a sin. Not everything that's mentioned under the invalidators of the fast are things which a person becomes sinful for. Because this one, particularly, the exiting of the blood, is not within a woman's control. Naam. It's not within the woman's control. The Prophet ﷺ said, إِنَّ هَذَا أَمْرٌ كَتَبَهُ اللَّهُ عَلَى بَنَاتِ آدَمِ this is something which Allah has decreed for the children or the daughters of Adam alayhi salam. Yani the women, the females. This is something which Allah has decreed. It doesn't mean that everything which is mentioned under the nullifiers of the fast, that a person is sinful for. And we did mention with regards to vomiting, that a person, if he has to vomit because he's eaten something which is upsetting his stomach, in order to... Uh, take away the pain or the upset stomach he vomits it out in this case he is like a sick person so vomiting out here he is not sinful even though it breaks his fast he's vomited intentionally it doesn't it breaks his fast he is not sinful for it likewise here the woman this is not in her control she is not sinful if this happens but what's wajib upon her is to refrain from continuing with the fast and to repay back this day's fast and something which is not mentioned here, which is similar to Hayd and Nifas, is if a person becomes insane. This is also not within a person's control. If a person becomes insane during the day's fast, this is also something which nullifies the fast, which the authors have not mentioned. Likewise, if a person, he is unconscious throughout the whole day, this is something which nullifies the fast. طيب, so, uh, this is today's lesson, inshallah. We're going to stop here.
Subhanakallahumma bihamdik. Ashadu an la ilaha illa ant. Astaghfiruka wa atubu ilik.